Hello YouTube, T Sparks here with another MLP Season 9 reaction. This is episode 6. Uh, I don't know the name, but I do know a couple things. I know that Quibble Pants is back. And apparently his wife and daughter are here. I had no idea he was married. Buckball Diva has swept Equestria. What started as a backyard hobby for fruit farmers <laughs> has blossomed oh, into go, a literal go phenomenon. Fluttershy. With something for every pony. Unicorns, Pegasi, and Earth ponies alike can't get enough. So, Buckball's taken off. <laughs> and with its popularity still on the rise, Buckball nice hat, Bon Bon. Nay, demand an institution catering to their new obsession. And the ponies of Appaloosa answered the call. Delivering a state-of-the-art locale where fans Equestriova can celebrate their passion. The Buckball Hall of Fame. Though, given the game's recent nature, the only inductees so far will be the members of the current championship team from Ponyville. Yep. Fluttershy, Pinky, and Snails. I think they have a pretty good idea. A pretty good idea about what? Um. Well, Snails is still as dumb as a snail. So we got a sports episode. Well, when Buckball was introduced, it was a pretty good episode. So we'll see what we got here. I think they're gonna face Quibble in a match or something. I wonder if Starlight's gonna appear. She's been kind of disappearing from this season. I can see why, but... I can't believe the ponies of Appaloosa built this place. Yeah! Especially after their team lost to us. They must really love Buckball. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's you! I can't believe you're you! I mean, here! I mean, keep on... Yeah, saving yeah. Equestria hundreds yeah, of times. Nobody oh, recognizes the them. Play a... Uh, obscure sport in the middle of nowhere. All of a sudden, they're recognized. Yeah, I mean, uh, no. How many of you would pay for an autograph from my best friend Snails? I don't like where this is going. That's a lot of writing. I'm so proud they decided to honor Only Snails? I never thought I'd get to be in anything like a Hall of Fame. Me neither! Unless you count a Royal Order of Party Planners Memorial Library, which <laughs> I don't, because every party planner gets one of those eventually. Uh, what about the fact that you're immortalized in the Canterlot Castle? That's kind of more important than a Hall of Fame? I think your competition just showed up. Snails finishes signing autographs soon. We <laughs> play without him, and if we lose or forfeit one game, we'll be out of the tournament. Well, he better get his flank over here then. You have to win the first few games without me cheering you on. Oh, why? Applejack was too busy to come, so she made me promise to go to all the museum exhibits and tell her about them. I'm gonna try and get in first and beat the crowd so I can get back to the tournament faster. Ooh, then you'd better. I, I like how she's <laughs> using her wing like a hand. What? Oh, that's got to be Quibble. Aren't even open yet. What kind of sports fan camps out for a museum? The real it's Quibble. question is, what kind of sports fan doesn't? Of course, it comes out ass first. What a twist! Dash, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> fancy meeting me? I'm a sports pony. Of course, I'd be here. What's fancy is you being here. If fancy meant confusing. There's nothing fancy <laughs> or confusing about it. You can't keep me away from that. Wait, that he's still got the daring do I'm hair. The fan there is. Uh, it's a buckball field, and you are. Oh, sure, but with all the buck bucking and the falling uh, on the buckball field. Oh, you you're a fraud. Buckball. I, 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 I wanted to be first inside to experience the grand history of the sport. I, I guess. All I right, know, Quibble. What's your game? <laughs> Very confused by oh, what's going on here. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, I'd like you to meet Clear Sky, the most amazing pony I've ever met. Um, you've met Daring 
didn't do, so that's probably an exaggeration. <laughs> no offense. None taken. When it comes to describing your special sun pony, a little exaggeration's normal. And I feel the same way about you. And <laughs> this? This is my daughter, Windsprint. And she is pretty amazing, too. Wind, did you thank Quibble for camping out so we'd be first in line? Thanks. No problem. I, I, I probably oh, I anyway. think I, mean, I see I, what's going on here. The He's the stepdad. Evolution of the buck basket from farm to field. That that sounds just. I mean, oh, wow. She's the fan of buck ball. He could care less. I'd rather see the game. Oh well, I I mean, sure that that makes sense. We could just go to the tournament instead. No, Quibble planned this whole thing for us, and you could be a little more appreciative. Oh, unicorns. They're always... <laughs> I kind of wanted to skip the museum, too. Harassing people. But I promised a friend that I'd check out all the exhibits. Ugh, all of them? You know, I, I'd like a chance to catch up with Rainbow Dash. Why don't we split up? We will cover more ground that way, and... I see. So, He's having trouble relating to his new stepdaughter. Oh, yeah. She's great. Honestly, I've never been happier. Which is why I need your help. I don't know what any of this stuff is. What do you mean? See this? I, I don't know what it is. A ball? It's a ball. The <laughs> mess. <laughs> no you idea. It's a basket. How do you not know what these are? <laughs> I'm not even 100% sure what bucking is. I literally know nothing about buck ball or any other Bucking sport. is how you get that kid well, over there. I <laughs> Sorry for that joke, but you know it was kind of right there. I can't compete with that. I really want things with Clear Sky to work out, but if Wind doesn't like me, I might as well give up. Uh, why? They're a family. Even if it's okay with Clear Sky, I wouldn't ask them to make me a part of it if Wind Sprint isn't on board. Huh? You know what? I thought if I could convince Wind I was some big Buckball fan, they'd have something to bond over. But I'm. I'm pretty sure she's on to me. Here. Ugh. Give it a shot. It's easy. No, you gotta fuck it with your back legs. Yeah, I don't think she's fooled. Could, could you talk to her? I, I mean, you're a famous sports pony. You'd know what to say. Maybe you could talk me up a little. <laughs> brilliant! Brilliant! I've totally got your blank. <laughs> Yeah, there's a thick about that. <laughs> Trust me, the game's a lot harder to play with apples. You play? Who do you think taught them? Of course, being a wonderful takes up most of my time, so I don't get to practice. As they much didn't. As I like. You didn't really Wait, teach you them. You just told them the dash? rules. The wonderful? Whoa, my dad was a great player too. You don't say. You know, Quibble's pretty sporty too. <laughs> <laughs> If you say so. I think I've seen enough of this museum for three Applejacks. Let's go watch some football! That sounds awesome. Oh, but first, I got you a little surprise. Oh, a book? A book? <laughs> oh, not just a book. It's a buckball almanac. This thing has every buckball fact and statistic ever recorded. Wow. Uh, the game's I barely I never realized there was a year so old. Math in buckball. I, I mean, this game's got more numbers than ogres and oubliettes. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, I guess I could hold it for you, you know, so you don't have to carry it. Can we go to the game now? Sure, honey. Listen, Q, this trip was a lovely idea and the book was sweet, but you don't have to try so hard. Everything's going to be fine. Mwah. Not even my presents are in the ball court. Uh, do you mean ballpark? Do I? I don't know. Uh, one thing's for sure, Wind is never gonna like a pony like me. Of course she will. She just needs to see her sporty side. I don't have a sporty side. Every pony has a sporty side. And we're gonna No, that's not yours. true, Dash. By the end of the day, I sure as hell don't I'm have a sporting side. Into the sportiest pony in Equestria! My parents made me do sports just like everybody else, and I just never good at it. I hated every minute of it. Look, I'm not saying it's a terrible idea, but it's a terrible idea. You can't I agree. Me into an 
Pretending God you're something damn. other than you are, you are never works out. Comic books and role playing games. Unless you're running for president, then it works. <laughs> uh, I have a 17 charisma, right? Don't you think I tried? She doesn't even like daring do. She thinks she's not athletic enough. What? Unacceptable! You started on Operation Sportify ASAP. I do have to give MLP some credit, is. though. This has got to be the first got something. single Speed. parent that they've referenced in the show. They may, they're they implying <laughs> that her father Some is dead. Do it all. That the Philly's You're father amazing, is dead. But what about me? Right. We should Because she said smoke. was a Pegasus. I'll pass the ball to you and you just pass it back to me. Okay? Okay. Uh-huh. I have to see what people say about this episode. And fuck balls! Ow. That's it's funny how, how dumb you are. Maybe agility's not your thing. Ready? If I say no, do I still have to run? Yep. Can we get this? <laughs> Snails and I did so well with the autographs, we decided to expand. And these souvenirs are not going to sell themselves. Remember, think speed. Got it. On your marks, get set. Speed. Speed. Go! The speed, 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 speed. Whew. Okay, what a race, right? You didn't move. Oh, so much for speed. Uh, this was fun, but I've got to get back to work. Come on, Quibble. You got this. I got this. I... <sighs> this is hopeless. Two books, huh? I don't have any skills, not agility, not speed. I, I can't even lift more than one book, and I love books. If we had time to train, I know I could mold you into the perfect sports pony. Uh, or at least a sportier pony. Who knows how long that would take? I, I need to get Wind to like me now. You are looking at this the wrong way, Crubble. Maybe you're not the best athlete in Equestria. Or the most coordinated. Or the fastest. Or uh, even a little bit strong. I I'm sorry, wait, is this supposed to be making me feel better? Because it's not. But that matters because I just figured out how to sportify you. Ah, uh, this can't end well. And with that score, the stars of Team Ponyville advance to the next round. They keep winning like this, they'll never get off the field. Wow, the players from Ponyville are so good. They sure are. Quibble, where have you been? I was hoping we'd all watch the tournament together. Oh, I've just been arranging for us to hang out with a few of my close friends from Team Ponyville. That is, if Wynn's up for it. Well, he does this have pull with the team. Issue. But I still feel like you're trying too hard to get Wynn's approval. This is so great! Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy are the best players out there! Well, you can thank Quibble, Wonderbolts, Bugball Stars! He's friends with the sportiest ponies around, so he must be pretty sporty too, right? Ooh, so this is Quibble Pants! Quibble Dash told us all about how you two spent a whole Daring Do convention geeking out together about books! And even though at first she thought you were the most annoying fan pony she ever met, <laughs> you were thanks, Fluttershy. Uh, Everybody got that? I guess even sports ponies agree. Good. Quibble's a pony you like more and more over time. Uh, knowing sports ponies isn't the same as being one. What's it like playing in front of all those fans? Um, I guess you'll find out. What do you mean? Yes. What? Do you mean? I think it's time we told Wind about your next surprise. Q, uh, Wind really doesn't need any more surprises. Is it another book? A, books are awesome. <laughs> and B, this is way more awesomer than that. For the tournament halftime show, you and Quibble are going to play a game of buckball against Team Ponyville. We're what? I have several <laughs> questions. Okay. 
You're going to have a little filly. Be a goal. A goalie, huh? Better take it easy on her. Okay, she she's quite the athlete. Uh, you should probably stretch. No amount of stretching is gonna make this okay. What were you thinking? Look, you wanted to impress Windsprint, and this just made sense. Really? How does me making a fool of myself in front of her, Sky, and a billion buckball fans make sense? Don't worry, I've got your flank. I already talked to Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. They're totally gonna make you look good. Oh, okay. Well, maybe this isn't the absolute worst idea ever. Maryland's down. No, no, it's gonna be a train wreck. Maybe I just got a dirty mind, but every time she says, I got your flank, just like you. <laughs> you, you guys know. Come on, all you gotta do is kick it. Pretend it's Daring Do. And that's one for the Ponyville champs. Looks like these <laughs> fans don't know what they signed up for. <laughs> uh, go Pinky. Wide open, and I'll never get there in time to block. <laughs> oh, miss. Ooh, looks like our fan team needs to work on their passing. How long does this go on for? Well, they are the world champs, so did it you really expect to beat them? Page 647 of the expanded buckball tournament rules that a goal is scored when an earth pony sends the ball into a basket, but it doesn't say which basket. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every pony knows you're not supposed to score in the other team's goal. But the rules don't say that. If that goal is ours, it's only two to one, and we can keep playing. I don't want to. You're not a sports pony. It's not fun playing this game with you. I was just trying to get her to like me. I know, but I told you you didn't need to. You and I have to rethink all of this. <sighs> this is actually a pretty adult here. subject this book for MLP. Sports as I'll ever get. Come on. That goal you scored for the other team was amazing! Oh, thanks for trying, Rainbow Dash, but I think we can both agree the whole Sportify idea was a big flop. What? We haven't even gotten started! I've got like seven more top-notch ideas to turn you into a super sporty pony! Oh, Wind's already made up her mind, and so have I. Time to throw up the towel. It's throw in the towel, and that's ridiculous! You can't just give up! Wind and Sky deserve a pony they both like in their lives. Besides, Sky wants to rethink things, so I'm just beating her to the lunch. It's beating her to the punch, and it's barely a sports reference. How do you not know that? Because I don't know anything about sports! And pretending I did just made things worse. So you should stop pretending! Look, you are terrible at sports. You're uncoordinated, slow, weak. Okay, again, not really. Feel <laughs> nice better. pep talk, and Rainbow. You're completely clueless about anything having to do with athletics. But maybe I'm not the pony you should have come to for help. Oh. I wish we didn't even come here. Quibble thought you'd like it. Well, I don't, and I don't like him. Why do you like him? Because he's kind and smart, and his friends certainly seem to care about him, which is always a good sign. I don't care how many ponies care about him. They're not going to make me forget about Dad. Oh, sweet. Oh, I know this is deep. Hard, but he doesn't want you to stop loving your dad. He just wants you to like him. And I think maybe there's enough room in your heart to do both. Hey there. Glad I found you because I have a confession to make. I know it's hard to imagine, but I'm... 
really not all that sporty. Well, duh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I, was <laughs> I like her a lot. You. Otherwise, I just really wanted us to get along, but I guess it backfired. Do you think we could start over? Maybe we could watch some of the tournament together and you could teach me some sports stuff? Oh, that's a brilliant idea, Rainbow. That, that's great. Rainbow's really learned from that's her... Relationship with Scootaloo. I'll try to remember that if I ever decide to play buckball again, but I probably won't. Oh, look, Pinkie Pie's gonna flip and triple bounce the ball into the goal. How did you know that? It's right here. Pinkie flips and triple bounce bucks over 83% of her shots from the northwest section of the field when the wind is blowing from the east. Huh. I guess this book's kind of cool after all. Then how come the, uh... I, I know you're thinking of calling it quits between us, and after today, I don't blame you. But when did I just made a connection? Calling it quits? What are you talking about? You said you wanted to rethink things. Yeah, things like having your friend help you pretend to be a sports pony so when can <laughs> you? What? I, I don't... I like how she's not oh, the jealous I, I type. What? <laughs> so, what? Look what Clevo showed me. When Fluttershy flies higher than the other Pegasus, Pinky scores 92% of the time, and it just happened. Wow. You better watch out or you're going to start to like books. I guess that wouldn't be so bad. Huh. Oh, like that's, that's great. This. Famous ponies are lavish gifts to bond with wind after all. Technically, he still needed to buy her the book, but that's it. <laughs> 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 like a lot of people have said, Dash is the element of honesty. <laughs> well, I hope this recorded okay. Wow, guys! I did not expect this. I expected this just to be an average episode that was, you know, just Quibble Pants showing up for a cameo. This, this is one of the most dynamic episodes they've had in years. They actually tackled a single mom and her kid where the kid is all like, you just want me to forget about dad. And they're like, oh, I never thought in a million years that this show would tackle that subject. It's a very touchy subject. The only way I think they could do it is because this is the last season. But they all but said that that Philly's dad died somehow. The way they were talking about him, it seemed clear that he was gone. We have never seen a single parent in this show, ever. They've all been married. But we all know in our world, single parent is very common. But when they, she actually said, you just want me to forget about dad. That, that hit me right there. Like, wow. I didn't think the show could do this anymore to actually surprise me like this. Especially with a character like Quibble and Rainbow. This episode just is the proof of Rainbow's evolution as a character. Sure, she tried to do it her old way. But she realized at the end what the proper way to do it was and it all had to do with her relationship with Scootaloo because when Scootaloo worshipped her she only saw that side of Scootaloo once Scootaloo got over that she had the similar situation to Quibble here where she had to connect with Scootaloo on another level now obviously she's not dating Scootaloo's parent if she's got one but it's a similar situation. So this was an episode that was something else. Well, in season eight, they dealt with divorce, kind of. They, although in that episode, they did not call it that. They just indicated the mother and dad live in different places. They never said they were divorced, but they clearly were. But here they actually said it. So I have to say, bravo MLP. 
I was a bit disappointed in the episode 200 and the last episode was was good I, I it was a great Twilight episode but it was still kind of an average episode this is one of the best episodes of the season it's right up there with perfect pair maybe three or four under perfect pair but you you, you know what I mean anyway thanks for you know to you that watched this and uh, I gotta go watch dr. Wolf's review on this one see what he says about it he's always got some very insightful things to say and this episode was a big one. so thank you MLP and please support the official release bye all Sorry, Fluttershy. Flanks don't lie.